Uh, well, I'm very happy to be here um, to see that this room is actually quite full, so I'm, 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 I'm happy. Thanks, it, and I really thank uh, the organizers because it, it really feels uh, nice to be in presence after so many uh, time uh, out remotely. Um, so I'm Sylvain Marier, and uh, I, I work at, at Schneider Electric, and, uh, and during my, my time there, uh, I had the opportunity to apply uh, AI on machine learning techniques to uh, smart grids, um, building energy efficiency, um, asset uh, monitoring, um, you know, um, manufacturing uh, improvement, and many, many other tasks. So this is my uh, two seconds ad here. Uh, we are hiring data scientists and data engineers. Please uh, have a look online. Um, okay, so uh, what about M5 and M5 Prime? So when yesterday when I was uh, starting to, to write this talk, uh, actually uh, I, I tried to remember when it, it all started and it, it was 10 years ago already. Uh, so n nothing very new, but uh, you know, it's, it's time to, to talk about it. Um, so at that time I was uh, developing our first uh, analytics as a service uh, cloud platform. And, um, and it was uh, not based on Python. <laughs> it was uh, based on uh, an open source stack named uh, Rapid Miner, and, uh, and uh, actually it was embedding a, a few plugins, uh, a bit like the framework that we saw uh, just before. And uh, among those plugins, uh, the uh, great Weka library, machine learning in Java. And uh, M5P was uh, quite a famous model there. And uh, you know, I, I was coming from a more traditional uh, optimization-based machine learnings for vector machine or even neural network, classic ones. So I was a bit uh, doubtful about uh, uh, decision trees, but actually on some uh, examples it was working quite nice. So um, yeah, we used it. Unfortunately, when we migrated from our first uh, analytics platform to the second one <laughs> in Python, uh, nothing uh, was there in, uh, in scikit-learn for, for this uh, specific kind of model. Um, we could find, um, you know, a decision tree regressor, um, but uh, not uh, models where the leaf is a linear model. Well, let me put track a little bit then uh, about uh, what is actually M5 and M5P. Uh, so M5, yeah, it's it's uh, from Quinlan uh, in it, in uh, the 20th century. <laughs> um, so it's the idea is, is really to it was invented. Um, it was a bit of a competition between uh, he and, and Brayman about all the trees. <laughs> and uh, his idea was to, to grow a regression tree model like uh, what was done in CARTS. Uh, same spirit, uh, but trying to get more compact and more smooth models. So um, the idea is really to, uh, it, it starts exactly the same. Uh, you, you have your data set and you divide. Um, by finding optimal split, um, where you know in in the subparts your target variable will uh, be more and more constant, you know less varying. So I start from the top node, and I I try to find an attribute that will reduce the variability of my that of my target variable as much as possible. I find it, I split, and I do it again and again and again. This is the main idea of CART, and uh, at the uh, very end of the tree, uh, you put a constant value, that is the average of the samples reaching the node. So it starts exactly the same, but what changes is that um, afterwards, you train a linear model for all of the nodes in the tree, even the interme intermediate ones, and you train it on the samples that reach that node. Um, also, there was this kind of uh, uh, simplification where the linear models are uh, simplified by greedingly, greedingly uh, removing parameters if they are not uh, useful. And finally, you prune the tree. That means that, for example, this LM3 node uh, that is uh, on the right, um, if its um, error is almost the same as the combined error of the two leaves, um, it's the, the leaves are pruned away and we keep only the linear model. And you go backtrack backwards this way so that you know you simplify the tree. And of course, since uh, you know the leaves uh, will always be the best performing in absolute, 
there is this notion of penalty that, you know, um, uh, two leaves containing two linear models or two constants have more parameters than a single linear model. So that's how the, the, uh, the, the single one can win and you can actually prune. Um, so um, this is the, how the pruning is done. And finally, there is a last step in the M5 um, algorithm that is um, smoothing. Smoothing is uh, using all the trees that are remaining, that in, uh, all the linear models that are remaining in the, in the tree. Uh, is basically uh, to prevent uh, big gaps between the predictions that uh, all the leaves are, are doing. And um, for this, uh, Quinlan um, is, uh, is proposing um, some kind of recursively uh, weighted sum of the model with its parents across the whole chain. chain. So this is how it uh, looks, basically. You, on a, some kind of nonlinear curve, you can actually, uh, uh, instead of having constant leaves, such as in, uh, in uh, in a standard regression tree with, co with a constant leaf, um, you, you can have linear models, uh, piecewise linear models to approximate the nonlinear curve. You can note that, uh, you know, in, in some places it's, it's uh, worse, actually, <coughs> but it's much more simple in terms of uh, tree, of model. So that was the, why Quinlan was saying that it, it would be useful because I think his sentence is that data scientists sometimes are more interested into insights gained from the model than from the predictive accuracy itself. And that's why he was uh, proposing this. Now based on this uh, M5 original, uh, M5 prime was, uh, was a second uh, uh, paper uh, written by Wang and Witten. And um, if, um, the authors basically thought that um, the M5 was not very well documented at that time, and uh, there was no reference implementation. So it was a bit hard for anyone to actually make it work. So they proposed a few clarifications on, uh, you know, some uh, tiny details. They proposed a reference implementation, and uh, two improvements that make it easy um, to use in the, in the real world data sets. Um, adoption of, uh, of a specific strategy for categorical variables, and um, uh, tackling a, a, a specific method to handle missing values. And also there seems to be another improvement. It's very fun. If someone knows, I, I would love to, to hear the answer. In, in this paper, they talk about a very specific uh, um, improvement that they made that, that is supposed to, to be very, uh, you know, reducing the tree size a lot, but actually it's not explained in the paper. It's just stated at the beginning and at the end. <laughs> so I would love to, to see that. Uh, I think I found it in the code from Weka. There seems to be uh, this kind of new uh, um, pr uh, pruning factor here that, that appears and that is actually as, a, as an effect on the, it's, it's, if you increase it, it forces the tree to be pruned more, but it's actually not described in the paper. <laughs> okay, so, um, in terms of uh, Python implementation, so M5Py, um, it was uh, first written for an internal project um, uh, a few years ago, and uh, I opened a, a pull request in at Scikit-learn uh, again a few years ago. <laughs> um, however, it's you know the, it 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 was difficult to get the bandwidth to reach the the uh, required uh, quality of code and documentation. Uh, I know a bit because uh, I could compare with other pull requests that did make it to the, <laughs> to the core. Um, and, uh, but still, I was puzzled because, you know, I could just stop working on it, but um, several community members were posting saying, oh, I, I would like to try it, I would like to try it. So, um, and also I, I think it's just for uh, sharing the knowledge. If someone wants to um, educate, uh, uh, people to teach uh, a class about regression tree, he might want to have a look and, and, and uh, give an example. So anyway, so I, I ended up uh, putting it uh, online. I think, I think it's, uh, uh, it's now online on PyPy, uh, zero so it's, it's a version 0 0.3.0, and uh, you can uh, find it uh, at uh, this page. I think if I click it, I will be able to show you here, yeah. So that's the, yeah, it's so recent that it has no download <laughs> scores. Uh, basically, I, oh, sorry, 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 yeah, thanks. I, I, let me duplicate that. 
Yeah. Okay. So I, I just included really two examples. Um, so I think the, the, the interesting one here is the is the one that was um, originally in the Queenland Queenland article. It's an artificial data set where you have random variables that are actually um, drawn from linear models uh, with a condition. So you have a variable that you know when it's above one above zero you use linear model one and uh, under zero you, you get the other linear model. And on top of this there is some noise. And uh, when when you run uh, various kind of trees, so the, the traditional uh, scikit learn decision tree regressor, um, but also the uh, M5 prime uh, on, um, with, with various um, uh, settings on it, uh, you can actually see the, 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 the scikit learn tree, which is very big, and uh, the unpruned M5P tree, which is very big as well, and the pruned and smoothed M5P3, which is really one split and two linear models, as you would expect. Okay, I think we are out of time, so um, I will, um, sorry. I will uh, jump above the KB hit, and uh, this, this is uh, more for discussion. Uh, So I did not implement all of it. We can talk about it later. It's, it's here, it's really for the community. We can uh, all um, then discuss and, uh, and see what we want to, to do. Uh, and uh, doing this, uh, you know, this research about, uh, about how to, to create it, I obviously found many more newer uh, techniques that are really worth looking at and uh, that, you know, you can try compare and they are already implemented. So that's, uh, that's it for this presentation. Thanks a lot. So, thank you. I have two questions. So I will rephrase the first one uh, to put a bit of context. So when you are in Cyclone that you use, for instance, uh, the trees, you have the mean decrease in impurity that you can use as a feature importance. And it's you might use that for to know what is there. How do you interpret, like, how can you just inspect the tree there and what does it mean? I mean, like, is it easy or not to uh, to interpret it? Because you have a linear leaf everywhere and... Uh, ah, okay. So, um, so <laughs> trying to decode what Queenline is proposing, it's... Uh, Oh, your question made my PC stop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I, I, I think it's um, the, um, there are really two approaches to, to this uh, impurity uh, topic. Um, either you you f you think about uh, impurity as the the resulting one uh, using the linear model, and in that case, uh, it's it's not the M5 algorithm for sure. It's it's rather the the one that is implemented in, in light GVM. Uh, you, you know, you would create, uh, you would start from the top and you, cr you would create linear models uh, corresponding to your split and look at the impurity as, as a change, uh, as the variance uh, uh, of the prediction error of the linear models. Quinlan is not trying to do that. Uh, and I think it's, uh, it's quite costly actually in terms of performance to try to do that. So it's, he's really assuming that Anyway, if you start from, from the bottom and look just at the impurity in terms of, uh, um, of you know, target variable noise, um, you will still um, be able to uh, group, uh, um, neighbor nodes will still cor um, correspond to, to places of the space that are consistent with each other in terms of input, and therefore that can be grouped uh, consistently in a linear model. So the, there is no relation between the impurity that was used to split, mm -hmm. and the one that is resulting at the end of the model. Okay, yeah. okay. and 
so the second question was, did you have any benchmark in terms of performance where? Uh, so I, I will refer to the paper. In the paper, there, there are two benchmarks, Queenland and, uh, and the other, um, the, the Wang and Witten uh, uh, paper. So there are two, two papers in, in related to M5 and M5 prime. Both provide numbers, both use data sets that are uh, open and public. So one of the open issues in the GitHub repository for M5Pi is to reproduce the same numbers and hopefully get the same results. Uh, I, I'm not sure we will be able to, to do that, to get exactly the same numbers for many implementation uh, differences, but at least it's, it's a challenge to at least reproduce something that is similar. So I still have more. So in terms of computational uh, performance, um, how do you, I mean, wh what you gain by having like linear things, uh, if you like compare it to a bike tree or to a random forest where you have an ensemble, I mean, how, hmm. how does it compare like? Uh, oh, it, you can, I mean, it's, it's obviously not, not something you want to compare, some uh, ensemble method and non-ensemble method. So what you want to compare is, is, uh, is linear uh, linear model, uh, a tree with, li with linear model, so M5, with another um, model tree implementation such as the one I was displaying at the end. I don't know why it's, it's, it's uh, off. Um, or with traditional decision tree. So these can be compared. And then you can make ensemble models on all of them. Uh, so um, actually, the, in the packages from uh, uh, Light GBM, I think there is a random version of the uh, linear model tree. So this one, you, you could compare it with r the traditional random forest. <coughs> uh, you don't want to compare an ensemble and non-ensemble method. Okay. okay, and last questions. Uh, are, are the M5 prime trees linear splines where you learn the nodes? No, it's not uh, splines. Uh, well, uh, I, I think in the original uh, Queenland uh, article, uh, he was uh, referring to another uh, method where uh, Splines were used, but uh, no, it's 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 uh, it's really um, linear regression, standard linear regression. Uh, yeah. Okay. So thanks again. Uh, thanks. <laughs>